Welcome back to Low Stress Math with Mrs. Bono. We're gonna start a new chapter, chapter one, exponents. Believe it or not, all that other work was just review. Make sure you put your name and period number on the front of your packet. So when you hand it in, you get credit for your work. Okay, we're gonna start with what is an exponent? What is exponential notation? And we're gonna get a lot of vocabulary out of the way right now. Okay, start at the top. Lesson one, what is exponential notation? Exponents are the numbers. Exponential notation is how you write it. So we're gonna learn all the different ways you can write and say numbers in exponential notation. So the, the target is really become familiar with the vocabulary. So I have to come become familiar with the vocabulary and what it means to be an exponent. How can you represent the number 25 using exponents? Well, you might have heard that 25 is a perfect square, but what does that mean? It means really that 5 times 5 is 25. It's the same number times itself. But why is that called a square? Well, it's because it comes from area of a square. If you have a square with five on one side and five on the other side, the area of that square is 25. That's a perfect square because both sides are integers. So that's a perfect square. So how can I use an exponent to write that? Well, first it's gonna be a number. Base is the number. The base is the number that's being multiplied times itself. So here we go. Five is my base. And then, how many fives do I have? Well, I multiplied five times five, so there's two of them, and that's the exponent. The base is the number you're multiplying. The exponent is how many times you multiplied it. So, exponential notation. Let's do it down here. Remember, the five is the base, and the two is the exponent. And the base is used as a factor Remember, factors are numbers you multiply times each other, and the base is used two times. So five times five. Please use a dot for multiplication or parentheses, but don't use that big X because that's gonna come in handy for something else later. So five times five, 25. So the base is the number the exponent is how many times you use that number as a factor. Different ways to represent exponential notation. So, you could have the exponential notation, which is, in this case, five squared. Or, so that's exponential notation. And then when you write it out, five times five, that's expanded notation. And then when you do the actual multiplication, five times five is 25. So 
that's just the solution. So exponential notation has a base and an exponent. Expanded notation is the base used as a factor the exponent times. And the solution is if you actually multiply it out and get an answer. All right, Oop, next page on the back. So your job right now is we're gonna write some numbers. We're gonna go back and forth. So there's parentheses around this negative four. If there's parentheses, you keep them. They mean something because this is negative four times negative four times negative four. So the exponential form, well, the base is negative four. So negative four in parentheses, that's the base. There's my vocabulary. And the exponent is, there's one, two, three of them. So to the third power, exponent three. Evaluate. Now, as I am a lazy bono and don't wish to think too, too hard, I'm gonna use my calculator. So how do I do that? Well, parentheses, because they're given to me, negative four, close the parentheses, and now to get that exponent three, I'm gonna press this little thing that looks like an arrow pointing up. It's sort of diagonal from the seven. So that puts it up as an exponent three times, and if I press enter, I get negative 64 as an answer. Now, that's the evaluation, that's the solution, that's the answer. So, negative 64. No parentheses on that answer, right? Just negative 64, okay? I'm gonna use parentheses around this. There's two different ways I could write this in exponential form. So let's just start with, a fraction kind of has invisible parentheses. So it's two over three. The whole fraction has been written one time, two times. So the base is the whole fraction, two thirds. Don't forget your parenthesis. And the exponent is two. Now I could have written it like this. I could say, oh yeah, there's a two over three, but with fractions, it would be two times two, and I could put a little two up here, and three times three, and put a little two down there, and have two squared over three squared. I don't like that too much. I would stick with the parentheses and the exponent, but that's just me. So now two times two is four, three times three is nine, so my solution is four over nine. Now I gotta work backwards here. I have base nine exponent five. My base is nine and my exponent is five. So base nine written five times. So nine times nine times nine times nine, times nine. Base nine written five times. Now, again, lazy bono picking up my calculator and I'm gonna go nine, that little carrot button that looks like it's pointed up, up arrow, five, because it's nine written five times. 59,049, wow, that's a big number. 59,000. 49. Well, that's enough of me doing stuff. Why don't you pause the video right now and try the rest of the problems on your own? And when you come back, I'll have some answers for you. Well, I really hope you stopped the video and you tried them on your own. I have high hope, but for this problem, two is the base, and it's written four times. So my base is two, but my exponent is four. So I'm gonna write the base two four times. Two times two times two times two. 
And what's the solution to that? What's the evaluate of that? Two times two is four, times two is eight, times two is 16. I think it's 16. I could use my calculator, but you know, again, lazy. Now my base is one and six tenths, and my exponent is three. When I have a decimal like that, I kind of want to use parentheses just so that in my head, I don't think that it's a, a multiplication dot. So with this base written three times, I'm gonna write it like this. One and six tenths, parentheses, one and six tenths, one and six tenths. I just feel better about it that way. So I have the base written three times and I have the base, one and six tenths, to the exponent, three. You might notice I keep changing colors when I go to the exponent. That's because sometimes I'm a little sloppy when I write, and I want you to clearly see that that's a small number up and to the right of my base. Your exponent should be clearly smaller font than the rest of your work. So parentheses, one and six tenths, little up arrow, blink, to the third power, and let's see what we get. Four and 96 thousandths? Wow, that's a tiny number. Well, no, four is a normal number, but 96 thousandths. Four point tenths, hundredths, thousandths. If you don't know your place value, you should learn it. I'm just saying. Now my base is two and my exponent is five. That means I write two five times. Two times two times two times two times two. One, two, three, four, five. I just like to check. Base two, exponent five. Let's see. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32. Wait a second. I recognize this 16. It's right here. Ha! I'm going to use the information here for this problem down here. I like that. Wait a second. There's more than one answer for that, isn't there? It could be two times two times two times two, two to the fourth power, but isn't, wait a second, four times four is 16 also. I could have two different answers for the same problem. Ah, well, now let's see if I can write that out nice. So I'm gonna write the first one. Two times two times two times two. Gave myself some space. And that was two, four times. Because two times two is four, times two is six, times two is eight. Wait a second. Two times two is four, times two is eight, times two is 16. Always double check. So in this case, my base was two, but my exponent was four. Now, I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna say, Maybe the base is four, because four times four is 16. So little squiggle, 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 squiggle. And I'm gonna use four as my base. And two as my exponent. Because that can happen too. There can be more than one way to get an answer, especially with exponents. Hmm. 27. Oh dear. Well, that's not a perfect square because I, I know that five times five is 25 and six times six is 36. So that's not a perfect square, but maybe it's a number that I've multiplied three times. Let's see, two times two is four times two is eight. That's too small. Three times three is nine and nine times three, wait, nine times, I think that's it. I'm gonna check that. I'm gonna grab my calculator. I ain't writing nothing down until I check it. Three times three times three. Three times three is nine times three is 27. I could have played around with the calculator a couple of times and gotten that, let's see. 
Here we go. 3 times 3 times 3. My base is 3. And my exponent is also 3. Yeah, not too bad. Let's try the next page. See if there's... Oh, nope. That's the next lesson. Well, good luck. And you can do this. Make sure you pause and do them yourself. I'll see you later. Bye.